Hey guys, welcome back to Joe's RC Corner, and today we're back at the hangar after the Zenith fly-in. Um, I want to thank everybody that was out there that came by, said hi to me, uh, Fred Mew and uh, uh, Jim uh, Clemens, uh, all of you guys. Uh, Mark, um, appreciate the shout out on the channel, and uh, my son also has a message for you right here. Thank you for putting me in the video, Mark. keep moving on here uh, so if you remember in the last video on the plane here uh, we were working on the we were working on the uh, the fiberglass ferrons uh, Mark I got that idea from you uh, but we're uh, working on the pilots the the passenger side one which was the first one that I did that I messed up but this one is uh, looking much better it's nice and solid and uh, will fit nicely around that corner so I'm really happy with how that came out uh, we are going to do some little more trim in here because I need to make it match the other side there. Uh, but we're going to uh, just finish doing a little bit more uh, filling on some of the spots that the bike balloons and the epoxy didn't fill in. Uh, and I didn't really want to add more resin to it to make it, uh, um, you know, a little heavier or anything. So I'm using some uh, filler here and uh, waiting for that to cure up dry. And then we're going to sand that down, primer it, and then uh, start working on uh, sanding to get that smooth. So it looks a lot like this one over here because this one really came out beautiful i'm really happy with how this came out uh still got a little bit more sanding to do on that but uh looks really nice i'm really happy with that <coughs> so what we're going to do today is we're going to finish up this piece here and then we're going to maybe uh do some cleaning today because tomorrow i need to start working on the uh, flap rods i need to get those done and get those mounted so that way i'm ready to take the wings off to get those painted so uh, that's the plan for this weekend, guys, so stay tuned. Uh, I'll try to set up a time lapse today. I know I haven't been doing those a lot, but uh, if it helps anybody out, uh, I'm happy to do that. So uh, we're gonna move on. We're gonna get these sanded and uh, see if we can get that one looking nice, as uh, just as nice as the other one. So stay tuned, guys. All right, guys, so welcome back. And uh, sorry, I didn't set up the time lapse, but we got a lot done today. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the camera around. Okay guys, so we put the cowl back on. I went ahead and pulled that filter off on the uh, uh, alternator. I figured I don't really need that. Um, maybe it was just my batteries were discharged, but we'll take a look and see when, what it is when we get a little closer. Uh, so what we got done here is we got both of the ferrons are now on permanently, and uh, I think they came out pretty darn good. Uh, they look really nice. They cover up that boogered corner. And uh, I wanted to put them on because I want to paint them when I paint the wing so that the rivets are also painted. Uh, here's the uh, pilot side. Again, really nice. I'm really happy with how those came out. They really hide up that corner and uh, I think they look beautiful. So, um, so when we take the wings off, we're going to go ahead and get these painted at the same time. That way everything blends together and uh, won't be any issues. Now I did take the airplane outside, but we didn't get any pictures of it today because it is starting to rain, uh, just a couple, a little bit. But uh, I wanted to get the cowl back on, get it cleaned up a little bit, and uh, get that side cleaned up. I do need to get, I have a lot of vacuuming to do inside the airplane. There's a lot of metal shavings in there, but uh, we'll deal with that later. Next thing is uh, we're gonna uh, start working on the flap rons, guys. So I went ahead and uh, we cleaned up some and I uh, got my bench set up here so we can work on the flapperons. We're gonna do one at a time and uh, we'll get those done, get them mounted, and then we'll take them off and uh, get everything prepped for paint. Uh, now, as I mentioned before, uh, we will be replacing these plastic tips here with a, um, uh, a fence that's gonna go on the tip of the uh, uh, horizontal stabilizer and I'm hoping what that'll give me is a little bit of uh, um, when I have full up elevator, that'll keep the airflow over the elevator uh, during high angle of attacks, uh, during flares and so on. So we're gonna work on that once that aluminum comes in uh, and we'll make that mount, which is gonna mount right here on the inside with some L angles, just following that curve. 
Uh, and then, of course, there's these pieces here that I haven't finished up here that will go on this area. And uh, we'll end up riveting directly to this uh, on this end. So we'll work that out later. Uh, before we, of course, that will be done before we get this off the paint. Um, I'm not going to worry about doing the fiberglass farins here, here yet, uh, but I will probably get the farin done on the windshield uh, once we get to that stage. Uh, so I just need to finish up a few things out here in the front, get that front canopy or this area in here, get that all finished up, get some wiring completed. But I need the wings off so I can run my wires. Be a little bit easier to run them up in there uh, with the wings off. I uh, do need to finish up the passenger door. My wife, for some reason, keeps telling me I need to finish her door. But, you know, it's fine. Uh, so we'll get that done. Uh, I will be measuring out uh, so for here because I want to put some pieces of aluminum up there. Or not aluminum, but some rubber sealant. Uh, because I saw a lot of guys out there that had issues with leaks in their plane. So I want to make sure I don't have any leaks. So we're going to work on that piece there. And I do want to make some sort of farin right here to keep water from getting in around this area as well. Now I do have a cover for the plane which will reduce the amount of water that gets in there if it's sitting out in rain. But I'd like to try to keep a lot of water out of it if that makes sense. So we'll work that out. Um, I will be finishing up getting these uh, windows trimmed to fit. And then I'm going to bring them home and I'm going to uh, go ahead and get some window tint. I have some already. And we're going to make that darker. And I'm also going to do the same thing up here. I'm just going to put some window tint on there to make it a little bit darker. So that way it's harder to see inside these windows here. The back front window will be fine. And same with that, the front window uh, windscreen. But uh, yeah, so I'm really happy with that. Uh, so we got everything kind of cleaned up right now. Airplane is back in the hangar before it rains. But uh, she's going to look really nice, guys. I'm super stoked with, about how that's coming out. The, uh, like I said, the, those wind, those farins on that wing right here, uh, they just, oh man, they came out beautiful. Um, nicely covers up that corner. And uh, same on the other side. So really happy with how that came out. They came out beautiful. I really like it. Um, and... Uh, so hides that boogered up corner quite a bit. Uh, so I did prime underneath this and uh, then we laid this on top and then riveted it on. And I'm just holding it with a couple rivets. So two down here, two down here, uh, two here and two in the back. Same on the other side. I uh, was going to use A4s but A5 seemed to fit a little bit better. So we went with A5 rivets there. Um, once I get this on permanently, then I got to do my figure out how I'm going to do that last section here of that hinge uh, just to hold this cowl up right there. You see it moves a little bit. So we want to make sure that stays in place as well. So we will get that part done. But other than that, guys, I'm really happy with how this is coming out. It's looking beautiful. We're going to finish up that uh, the flapper ons. Uh, we're going to get them started at least. Uh, start working on those flapper ons tomorrow. We'll get these built and uh, get them mounted and then we'll get them painted all right guys so that's the plan for tomorrow's video so stay tuned and uh we'll get right back on it in the morning hey guys so welcome back and uh just wanted to uh this is the next day i've already finished the work as you can see in the time lapse in one of the corners here um but uh yeah we got a lot done today well we got something done. I wouldn't say it's a lot, but we got something done. And uh, it was the one of the flaperons. Now that I got the camera turned around, guys, you'll be able to see here, I have this just clamped in here just temporarily. This thing was very time consuming. I'm not sure why, but uh, um, took me a few minutes to figure out which uh, direction everything went in the regards to the ribs and uh, where they need to be lined up. Uh, but in the end, we got them. We got one of them done, and uh, it came out pretty good. Um, I have the uh, plastic tip in here just temporarily. Uh, I need to uh, mark the uh, 10 millimeters and uh, get that all lined up and mounted there. Uh, I also left these two rivets out on the top and bottom. This is where the counterweight goes. 
uh, which I haven't really mounted yet because uh, it's since it's not since that's not on uh, wasn't bothering with this but um, basically guys it's gonna go right about there and uh, then we'll have to do the uh, balancing drill it out start adding weight until we get it the right mount so uh, that'll be coming up soon uh, we'll final rivet this after uh, after it's painted uh, so now next week we'll finish the other outboard rib here or outboard uh, flapper on then we'll work on the two inboard get those built then we can go ahead and get the preliminary rigging in place get the bolt on and figure out where it needs to move whether or not I have to open up this banana slot which I'm seeing everybody does so we'll see how it rig how it matches up and see if we have to open that up any but yeah we'll get the uh, other one in we'll get the holes drilled get them mounted and then uh, start doing the preliminary rigging and uh, see how that works out um, should be pretty good straightforward don't think I'll have any issues there but uh, just in case we'll uh, we'll get that done before we take everything off and uh, get it ready for paint so other than that I'm really happy with that that's gonna look really nice once we get the other one in then there's a big step forward <clears throat> and then we can take the wings off get the wings ready for prepped for paint the tail feathers ready for paint the flapper on's ready for paint and the uh, the struts get these ready for paint and uh, yeah once that's all painted the next time they'll be on the plane it's going to be on for last and then we'll start torquing all of the bolts uh, while the wings are off though uh, I'm going to work on getting my wiring from the top from the wing here down the down along here and inside the back panel uh, for each wing and uh, get that cleaned up get the other door mounted and uh, yeah we're getting close man we're so close man I can see the end I can see the finish line it's just really far out still but uh, but I can see the finish line so that's the biggest part right there is that we're getting close uh, I can see the end all right guys so that's it for this uh, this video for this weekend uh, gotta get back into work over the next week so uh, got a good chunk done we got the fairings done we got the one flapper on done. We got three more to go. And uh, then we start doing the uh, preliminary rigging and uh, get everything prepped for paint. And then we'll uh, get everything back on for last. So we're getting close, guys. Uh, goal right now is going to be uh, February, March, because I have two more work trips, unfortunately. Uh, but uh, hey, the work trips are what pays for the plane. So we got to do what we got to do. So I'll see you guys on the next video. Make sure you hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you like what you see. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. See ya. Bye now.